what is a new approach? Well, the approach that we have is called focus fusion and does produce the highest energy density that we can obtain. It's under development, but if it works, we will have five megawatt generators this size, which is about 0.6 tons per megawatt, so more than a thousand-fold increase. A focus fusion is our name for a combination of the device, which is the dense plasma focus, and hydrogen boron fuel. So let me describe what I mean by this. Hydrogen boron fuel is the ideal fusion fuel because hydrogen boron combine at high energy to produce alpha particles. Let's see whether we can. No. Okay. So the proton and the boron get together. They can't stay together because they're too excited, and they break up into three helium nuclei and no neutrons. So the important thing is the energy is in the form of moving charged particles. So the energy is instantly released in the form of electricity because electricity is by definition moving charged particles and no neutrons. That's extremely important because with no neutrons, you can have high energy density. With neutrons, you can't, because neutrons are not only dangerous to humans, they're very destructive material structures. Tired of inflation, wars, and inequality caused by the energy crisis? LPP Fusion is developing a solution that could allow everyone to have cheap, clean, off-grid, and sustainable fusion energy. Invest now as we seek to bring this potentially life-changing technology to market. For more information, visit lppfusion.com. So if you have a fusion fuel like deuterium plus tritium that produces all of its energy in the form of high energy neutrons, they're breaking apart the structure of steel, of whatever you're, you're made out of, your machine is made out of. So you have to make the machine very large to spread out the neutrons. So you immediately get low energy density. With hydrogen boron fuel, you have almost no neutrons, none from the main reaction, and from secondary reactions, you're down by a factor of a thousand. So that means you can shrink the device and make it extremely energy dense. Second of all, you can, now the fuel is abundant. There's no radioactive materials involved. Boron 11 is 80% of natural boron. And they can be separated because there's a 10% difference in their mass by chemical means. Hydrogen, of course, is abundant in water in the oceans. So you have no problem with resource shortages. There's no radioactive waste. Everything contains radioactivity. All of us are radioactive. But radioactive waste is defined as long-term radioactive substances at levels that are dangerous to humans. We've done calculations, and by carefully selecting the materials that the device is made out of, we will get zero radioactive waste. Direct conversion to electricity. We're going to go into this a little later in the lecture, but the main thing is because you have moving charge particles, you can get the electricity into a circuit directly without going through producing steam, running a, a turbine and a generator, which is what we've been doing since Edison's time. And that is all extremely expensive. And finally, you can get decentralized power. That's extremely important for the stability of the grid. The grid has been destabilized by many things, including deregulation. One of the things that makes the grid unstable is the necessity of sending power 
from centralized generators over long distances to the loads. This way, decentralized loads will be fed by decentralized uh, generators. Now, hydrogen boron is something that the idea has been around for decades. We're not the only private fusion company that's working on this. There are bigger companies, TAE out on the West Coast, HP11 in Australia, Marvel Fusion in uh, Germany, that are also working on this fuel. But the other thing we're doing that's unique is the device, which is called a dense plasma focus. Thank <laughs> you.